Hi everyone and welcome for this uh, new painting test. So this time I'm going to use uh, the War Paint Air from Army Painter and that's a pretty good surprise because it's going to be a perfect way uh, to change my mind about painting with airbrush. I use a lot of pro color and it's a very complicated um, paint to find uh, on the internet so if that's worked pretty well into my airbrush so I will use more of that into my tutorial and you can more easily find the paints I use. So we are going to take a look to the covering of the color and if the color is pretty fluent into the airbrush and I need that color not to uh, damage the brush or make it um, very dirty. So we are going to take a look and make a test. Let's go for the paint. So here is the first uh, wire paint air set. This is a starter set. So there are not a lot of color, but enough to try all that's going to work. Uh, there are a kind of system of different tones, so you can more easily, uh, for people who are going to be beginner, it's pretty cool because you have the mi mid tone. Uh, so the, the one we are going to highlight with and the one we are going to pushing our shadow. So that's pretty cool. Um, there are a lot of different colors, so we are going to try, open this and try all that work into my airbrush. Let's go! So it's always welcome to have this kind of painting gear into, uh, it's free and you can more easily see the different step. It's a very beginner things, but that's always welcome. This is some quick explanation about how it's composed your paints and in which way you can use it. So you can see that sometimes uh, there are some empty, uh, medium you can uh, you can remove uh, on the top of your bottle. So we have a primer into the boxes, so that's pretty cool because it's ready to use once again. So let's start directly on some few miniatures just to show you the results. So I'm going to start with the green skin and as you can see I directly put into my um, airbrush. Uh, a lot of time I use first my diluents and after my paint but now I try to make exactly the same than army painter tell us so directly using from the bottle to the airbrush and to be honest that's work pretty well um, that's not going to be um, you know when you use airbrush and the paint is too, uh, uh, too, too too large and too complicated no it's very fluent easy as you can see on a black coat that's work pretty well that's very covering so once again uh, for me it's a success and as you can see, um, it's not so complicated because you just have to put into your airbrush and after step by step pushing your color. For sure, between two different colors, you are going to clean your airbrush just by using some, um, some uh, airbrush cleaner into your element and after you just have to put the new color and that's work pretty well. As you can see, I I try on a black coat, a white, and now on some contrast quick paint, and that works very well. So now I'm going to use some demonic yellow because this is this kind of paint. A uh, lot of time is not enough covering, and uh, especially uh, with some airbrush paint. But as you can see on the shoulder, it's very, very, very covering. So it's just perfect. You can paint directly on a, a black coat directly that work pretty well 
I try to do the same but on the white part and the color is very very similar so once again that's a success uh, for the moment I use it during something like one hour I change a lot the color just to try a different kind of color I make some mix like right now I use a mix between the green skin and the yellow demonic yellow just to have a more highlight for my green skin and that works pretty well for the moment uh, I paint something like one hour with and without doing a very very big clean of my airbrush that work pretty good same way I always uh, try to find a good red for my airbrush and never find and this time with the pure red it's pretty easy you just have to put and that's work pretty well even if you have a black coat at the beginning uh, as you can see you can directly create your transition and have something very nice on the axis <clears throat> so for to, to, to be really honest i'm when i when i try it um i, I can't uh, have my voice on directly the video so uh, i make it in a, a two time but it was a real real pleasure and uh, at the beginning i just want to paint something like some few minutes with to try and let's go but finally I paint a lot different kind of model all the model I have on my table and I am going to probably use a lot of this paint during my uh, tutorial just because that worked pretty well and it's pretty easy and I love that I try the white by the way just because I use a lot of white to create my non-metallic metal part and as you can see it's that work once again that work and that's pretty cool because I was not necessarily sure about that because I use a lot of pro color but it's very difficult to find uh, to buy pro color on internet and this one is pretty easy to find and pretty good so so what I can say after all these tests really 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 i really enjoy this paint uh, this is going to be my new paint uh, for airbrush so i'm going to remove for the moment the pro color and use only this one for the moment because i really enjoy it uh, so thanks again for army painter and for for, for these crazy things and uh, remember Remember to subscribe to the channel and click on the ring to be sure to don't uh, lose any uh, tutorial from your side and don't hesitate to support me on Patreon to have access to more content for my channel and to have access to a group so you can share with me your work and I give you my feedback. Thanks again for watching. Once again, this paint is just awesome uh, for your airbrush. I will try it with my brush very soon. And once again, see you soon for the next tutorial. Bye bye.